Okay, so I'm going to play Spark for the upcoming Endless Stealth event. And as a class I choose Sun and Ascendant. Mainly because I really want to play Sun again, and Spark, obviously. And I'm choosing Deadeye, because my marks get better, Protectors gain damage, I find an additional Protector, which is very good for clear speed, and I get Tailwind, which is me being faster, which is always nice. I also chose Elementalist because it technically gives me a little bit more damage than Inquisitor and the other ones are meh. If you want to go crit, you might want to consider Assassin, but I couldn't be bothered because gearing is going to be troublesome anyway in Endless Stealth, so I'd rather not make it even tougher with trying to also squeeze in crit. Now that being said, uh, let's go with a build real quick. Um, you only need one unique. And that's only if you get it. And that is Hazardous Research. Research? Uh, I can speak words, probably, I think. Anyway, I want that. If I get it, great. If not, I just take that part over here. If I don't... Yes, that makes sense. So, if I do not get the jewel, I take that part over here, probably. And if I get it, I probably spec out here, go into here. Grab more skill effect duration, which is really good for um, Spark. And probably those notes, and then I'm at 93. Maybe grab life here. I don't know. Whatever I get. Maybe I grab some more um, jewel slots, something like that. Why do you always do that? Anyway, um, go in here. Depends on what skills I get. Maybe cast speed. I could go into cast speed and that here. Anyway, not that important. Depends on my gear. And I go over here, grab some block nodes. They also give me a little bit of um, resistances, which you were going to be struggling a lot in endless stealth. Believe me, you don't have a crafting bench, so you can't fix up your resistances very easily. So I'll grab that. Go into your life, more resist, damage, resist, um, armor. I do want to try divine shield, so go for armor, evasion, gear. No, armor, yes, gear, that's correct. I can do words. Anyway, go into here, maybe grab the jewel socket if I need to, or if I even get good jewels. Some uh, aura effect, maybe want to get more aura effect, and um, reservation efficiency, I don't know, block, damage, block, damage, life. Okay, that's basically it. Nothing special. Uh, I don't think you get pantheons. I don't think you do. I don't know, don't remember. Anyway, skills for my auras, I try to get Determination, Wrath, and Tempest Shield in, which should be working out. I still have 200 unreserved mana left. Get some mana region with a 68 mana cost. I'm probably gonna be struggling a little bit, so I'm really hoping to get some additional mana region on gear. Maybe if I can get a total of 50%, that would be golden. That would put me just enough so I can cast most of the things. Maybe I have to spec in some more mana nodes here. Or, God forbid, take a mana flask. But we don't want that. Um, for leveling, if you can't fit in both Wrath and Determination, you can also choose Purity of Elements, which I probably recommend anyways, at least while leveling, until you get good enough gear to get your resistances. And if you don't want to bother with uh, ailments, you can always choose Purity of Elements. For that. So there's that too. Anyway, uh, Flash and Standard Arctic Armor, if you want to freeze immunity, which, eh might be helpful especially early on so probably i start with um so three here and only use it once later on the upper ones later on maybe i change it around depending on how i feel i don't know yet tempest shield is nice because many of its block which is good and additional block gives me additional damage thanks to said block mastery note which gives me three percent increased spell damage per five chance to block spell damage I only go to 56% spell block and only have 31 non block chance, which is kinda meh. I could think about cleansing blows, but honestly, cleansing blows is really bad if you don't have a shaper shield, which gives you um, energy shield or life or block. I think both is possible. So, without that, cleansing blows is kinda meh, and you don't want it actually. Anyway, uh, spark. Usually, I try to get wall spark. Preferably 21 if I can get it. That would give me another 8k DPS. I think this is per projectile, considering multiple projectiles can hit and bouncing off walls, yada yada yada. You know how Spark works. Um, kind of good. 
should also work very well for clearing and the occasional boss if i'm lucky my dragons find the arenas are usually a bit too big for spark but depending on how much uh, movement uh yeah projectile speed you get and how much duration skill duration you might be able to take a uh, good advantage of spark and depending on where your enemy or the boss runs around if you get him in a corner you can pretty much melt enemies with spark so that's good uh ps lightning pen and spike element focus i'm not gonna do much with um shock anyway so from the main skill so unfortunately so i take that it gives me just more damage i can still shock and my shocks will give me I will always at least be uh, increased damage taken by at least 10%, thanks to Elementalist node here. So I try to, I don't know, can shock with uh, connectivity. Not connectivity, but I can, um, for example, use connectivity cast on the enemies and wave of conviction, and that should probably shock him for at least a little bit. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't rely on shock. What I'm saying. Anyway, um, I'm gonna use Snapper's Mark because it's technically more damage. I also. Um, Get some life and mana flask, so that's good for sustain, I guess. Always nice. Um, yeah, you can go for conductivity if you really want to, but I probably take that just because more damage and a little bit of life flask. I don't know if projectiles uh, split works. It should work, I suppose, because I don't see a reason why. Um, if it does, as intended, then um, you have way too many projectiles anyway, so that's good. Now, Flame Dash, Arcane Search, um, I can barely fit in a level 9 Arcane Search, so that way it triggers every time I cast it. You could go for a higher account Search if you really want to, but that would require you to cast Flame Dash multiple times to trigger it. Now I gain it at 51 uh, mana, it triggers every 51 mana spent, and if you look here, boom, exactly 51 mana cost, so works out perfectly. Oh, yeah, set, which is nice. Um, golems, I can choose two golems, any two. I'll just put in stone and flame golem because life regen is always nice. I could use some more sustain, and flame golem gives me more damage. Um, if you want a more fist reduction, take chaos. But I should have plenty of fist reduction from armor, as you can see. That is with flask ups, by the way. So, that's that. Um, but yeah, plenty of fists. Uh, you could do Lightning Golem, but I don't think I can um, sustain even more cast speed. My mana is already stretched very thin, so yeah. But if you manage it, you know, you can pick any two, so I just put everything in here. Uh, tornado just because uh, it does projectiles. I think those things work fine, I don't know. Once again, I haven't played with Tornado yet. It sounds cool, I try it out, if it works, it works. It's mainly for bosses or tanky rares, which there are plenty. In goddamn delve, so they're set. And then cast my damage taken, immortal call or molten shell. Molten shell is if you have plenty armor, technically better. But uh, you can go with immortal call first in case you don't have good armor gear or don't run determination. So, um, these are the levels you can get with a level 5 cast my damage taken. You might want to up it a little bit or get down depending on how much life you have. I only get 5.8k life, but set this with mediocre gear, which is basically bare minimum. You have one level two lightning spells, skill gems for once, which you. Other things you would want is uh, spell damage, lightning damage, uh, added lightning damage to spells. Um, Spark has, I think, 125 added. No, it has actually. No, Spark has uh, added effect damage. Damage effect is enough. Uh, Spark has 125 effect is enough added damage. Means so added damage is pretty good for it. Anyway, basic um, gear with energy shield, life, and resistances. Some movement speed, some resist. Yeah, basically, it's nothing that gives me any damage. I don't know how much chaos damage, damage you need in Delve. Probably not that much, but you know, always nice. Uh, flasks, pretty much normal. And that's it. Uh, as you can see, I have nothing tweaked here. I only said basically boss Cyrus. If you want to say no, I do nearly 200k DPS, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, Cyrus to 
you can see good side. Anyway, uh, set damage is only really per projectile, so if and projectiles can hit bosses anyway multiple times, so it should be way more if if you get everything going. So, um, anything else to say? Nope. I'm just going to use the build. I don't really plan on competing. I'm going for um, standard, so version of it, so no hardcore. I don't really want to do hardcore in Delph. And I just try to get level 95, and that's probably my only build I'm going to play, and that's it.